Hi, my name is Roman from the Manjaro project and today I want to show you how easy it is to test the new Manjaro immutable version with Kemu. Kemu is a virtualization software on Linux and you can run it together with some GUIs but today we're just going to use the terminal for that. We have here some uh, documentation how you can do that, a guide and uh, a link to the guide you will find in the uh, video description as well. So first on, we need to download Manjaro Immutable, the live image, but we already did that. Next, we need to create a virtual hard disk with at least 32 gigabyte. For that, we just copy the command. Then there is one special thing to consider. Uh, Manjaro Immutable only supports UEFI boot. So we have to copy there some file, just copy the command. And yeah, afterwards we can run Kemo directly. So we copy here again the command, it has uh, several arguments. Um, most of them have some effect on for drive to use and so on, but there are some performance options and I need to change one of these to have my laptop not burn out with the capturing software running as well. So after you run the command, a window opens, you can resize this window if you like and um, the Manjaro immutable live image then directly boots up. So that takes some time, we fast forward here. And afterwards you are greeted with a live image UI. Uh, what we're going to do here is uh, now we scale the user interface to 200% to actually see something. You can do this in the GNOME settings easily. And afterwards, we can start with either trying stuff out or directly installing to our virtual hard disk. So that's we gonna, what we're gonna do now. Yeah, I need to change here to my German keyboard. But afterwards, everything is pretty straightforward. Select the virtual hard disk. We encrypt our hard disk with a very secure encryption pin. And afterwards we are good to go. Now installing of course takes some time again, so we fast forward once more. You can see here it's downloading the image files and then installing to the virtual hard disk. Once the installation is complete, we don't restart directly, but we shut down our virtual system. And instead we use a different command now to run again Kemu with our virtual system now installed to the hard disk. And this command is different because we now don't set the virtual uh, live image to, to boot from. Now uh, there are some other arguments uh, you can set to increase performance, what we did here. And I will again change the number of uh, CPU cores to use. Now once again it's booting up and it then asks us to provide our encryption key which we can just insert and once this is done and it loads some more stuff we are once again greeted by GNOME UI and now booted directly from our virtual hard disk.